this series presents information based in part on theory and conjecture. The facts that will be presented are true. Scientists representing the world's foremost research centers took part in the examination of the evidence. Chris. I'm Chad. And together, we're a pair of normal guys. Hey, Chad. Hey, Chris. We're, uh, we're on quite a roll now. We are. This is like a hundred shows in a row or something like that. That's right. We're sticking to it harder than a Tony Melito car commercial. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Okay. So, mm-hmm. uh, what's been going on with you this past week or so, Chad? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, well, that's <laughs> hey, Seth's there. Hey, Seth, he just showed up. That's why be calling us names. You better watch that. He's got somebody with him, too. Mm-hmm. This is Lyle Blackburn. No, there's Whoa, Lyle, Whoa, what the heck, man? Look at that. He just came running through <laughs> here. I don't think he was... Oh, wait a minute. Hey, yeah, he was wearing a hat. That's right. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, nothing. Okay. Yeah, same here. Nothing. Got another birthday party under, you know, in wraps. No, oh, that's good. So. Katrina, Katrina's birthday is uh, tomorrow, which when somebody hears this, it will have probably been like a In couple of days ago. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing. It is. We time travel every day, sir. <laughs> if only. I wish. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing much new. It, mm. it, when we're doing the shows regular like this, it's harder to come up with this stuff. No major stuff happens in a short That's amount right. of time. That's right. I'm sure we'll have some kind of uh, exciting something happen one of these days. Hope so. That get we an, can tell everybody about. Get an email from some major production company wanting to uh, turn us into some big worldwide phenomena. Do, 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 do. <sighs> yeah, that one. You know you like it. Uh-huh. So, I guess, uh, without further ado then, Chad, it's time for our favorite thing in the world. Oh, yeah. You know it. I know it. Everybody else knows it. It's... The Paro News Stories. <laughs> you look so excited. I didn't want to contribute. I was trying to be quiet. For once? Yeah. <laughs> didn't want you to yell at me. All right. So uh, what do you have on tap? I have. Besides fleas. <laughs> well, I was scratching like that because I wanted you to think of Dog Man. Oh. Uh-huh. Are you excited? I am. This is about a dogman encounter in Colorado. And this story comes to us courtesy of Cryptozoology News. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, they're on your side. A man in Colorado, well, he claims that he saw a creature that looked like a mix between a human and guess what? A dog. Oh. Mm-hmm, that's right. The man whose name wasn't provided said on a MUFON that he was driving home from work after picking up his dog when he encountered the strange being in October, which is a good time to encounter a dog man. It is. He explains that he noticed the dog getting anxious, so he pulled over to let her out. That's not a good idea. She wouldn't do her business. She started barking. At first, I thought she was barking at the traffic, but there was no traffic. The Boulder, Colorado man said about the alleged encounter. That's when he says he noticed five lights hovering in the distance. Okay. He says, and I quote, I quickly put the dog in the car and went to investigate. He added, the lights rose higher, then got smaller and zigzagged. Zigzagged? Yeah, you know, like the paper. Crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, then he continues, they vanished. 
but when he got back to his car, his dog was reportedly terrified. <laughs> I tried comforting her. That's when I noticed something moving in the corner of my eye. Hensel's mm. floaters. I looked up and saw something running behind my car through the taillights. That's never good. The man described the creature as having red fur and a tail, but he adds it also had a human face. What? Mm-hmm. Furries. Scary. It disturbs some furries in the woods. It is it is hard to describe, he says. The eyewitness goes on to say that the dog was still terrified when they arrived home and wouldn't leave the car. I had a few nightmares after that, he said. So, that was the story. Dogman Colorado. In Colorado, huh? Mm-hmm. The Beast. That's right. It was The Beast. That would be at King's <laughs> Island. Right. Mm-hmm. Huh. So, there you go. Colorado. Another, another dog man. What does the fox man say? Yep, yep, yep. Gonna catch a car. Yep, yep, yep. Gonna yep, catch yep. a car. <laughs> All right, Chad. Uh-huh. Now, I have one. Yes. And this one's very serious. And I want you to, to be calm. Like Yahoo serious? And hold all your comments to the end. Okie dokie. Okay. I'll be quiet. This is very serious, and there's <laughs> lots of complicated words in here. Oh. And this one's from CNN, Chad. Really? Yeah. Like Darth Vader CNN? Yeah. Hmm. This is CNN. So, uh... <clears throat> okay, let me get ready for this. <clears throat> let me clear my throat before you do that. <clears throat> Just so I don't have to <clears throat> clear my throat while you're doing this story. Okay. Okay. On a bad day... You might lose your wallet or keys, but it's a lot harder to lose an entire islet, as in little island. Oh, okay. Yeah, not in your shoe. Okay. Okay. However, the Jap- the Japan Coast Guard is planning a search mission after an uninhabited islet called Isenbihana Takajima. Your pronunciation may vary. Seemingly disappeared off the northern coast of the country. The small outcrop was previously found some 500 meters off of a village called Sar- Sarufutsu on the northern tip of Hokkaido Island, Japanese daily Asahi Shimbun reports. Its absence was noted by author Hiri- oh, good Lord. Hiroshi Shimuzu, who <laughs> produced a picture book on hidden islands and had traveled to the area in search of inspiration. Puzzled, Shimuzu asked local fishermen what had happened. An elderly local confirmed that there used to be an island in the vicinity, according to Asahi Shimbun, but it can no longer be seen from land or from nearby boats. However, other fishermen say that Asambehana Kida Kojima Island (laughs) <laughs> Good uh-huh. Lord. Shows up as an islet on navigation systems. Authorities are concerned about its whereabouts as the islet is used to mark Japanese territorial waters in the Northern Territories, an area that is also claimed by Russia. Known to Russians as the Kurils, the islands were taken over by Soviet forces shortly after the end of World War II. In 2014, the Japanese government officially named 158 uninhabited islands to demarcate its waters. According to international law, nations can only claim waters around islands that are visible above sea surface at high tide. In 1987, survey, a 1987 survey showed that the islet protruded, protruded 1.4 meters above sea level, and a 1988 sea chart from the Geospatial Information Authority of Japan described it as an islet. There is a possibility that the islet has been eroded by wind and snow and as a result disappeared. Tomo'o Fuji, a senior Coast Guard official, to- told Asahi Shimbun. If the islet has sunk beneath the waves, Japan will lose 500 meters of territorial waters. Japan also has a long running territorial dispute with China over the Senkaku Daioyu Islands in the East China Sea. So, Chad, um, I think you know what I'm thinking. I know exactly it's, what happened. And um, <laughs> I'll have to turn that down a little bit. All I know is that if you uh, 
are that big and you step on something to hit home, Mm -hmm. it's probably going to go under the water somewhat. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think we know what happened. Mm -hmm. There's no erosion. I know every time they show a uh, picture of, like, the Japanese coastline and there's been some big disaster from the Uh ocean, if you look, it looks like there's these footprint-sized digitally altered sections of the the footage. Right. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. I think we all do. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Copyright Toho. <laughs> Much better than those new Godzilla ro- roars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nah, th- those don't count to me. No. I don't even hear those as Godzilla roars. No. Hey, you know, here's a little bit of uh, trivia for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you know how they uh, got the sound, the original sound of Godzilla's uh, roar? It's a gate at the studio mixed with a elephant trumpet. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. The way they recorded the original Godzilla roar Mm -hmm. is a leather glove coated in resin that they drug along a double bass string. See, I've heard a completely different story about what they recorded to do. Which they probably did do both ways. Now, I have seen them hit the big uh, cables, sport cables for the Blast Wars for Star Wars. Yes. More Dogmen, Godzilla's out smashing islands. Mm -hmm. Where are you mad at? That's your news. (laughs) You're welcome. And uh, uh, moving right along to the next favorite segment in the world. Uh Uh-huh. What do we have, Chad? The Pair Announcement Board. Ahem. (laughs) So dramatic. Mm Mm-hmm. And really, uh, for this show, we only have the one... One pair announcement? One pair announcement. <clears throat> and it, yes. that is that uh, CryptidCon has announced uh, CryptidCon 3 for next year. Uh-oh. And they are moving to Lexington this year at the uh, Clarion Hotel and Conference Center. So mark your calendar down September 7th and 8th next year. Get your tickets. Pack your bags. That's right. Be there. Be there. Chad will be. Hopefully. I might be. If not, I'll send a surrogate. A surrogate? Yeah. My avatar. Oh, your avatar, like uh, uh, Letus. No. Oh. No, I, just, I gotta find an avatar that kind of looks like me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. There you go. So, and you know, we, we've been remiss with the old uh, pair announcement board, and we never mentioned the whole, if you have a event, book, movie, some kind of paranormally related event uh, coming up or that you know of, you send us a send us a little email. I think we mentioned it, just nobody sent us anything. Well, you know what made me think about it, and this is odd. What's that? So last show I put up one of the uh, one of the uh, legendary missing episodes yes. that I decided were bad and we couldn't put up. And yeah, I don't know why, though. Yeah, I listened to that last one. I was like, that's not too bad. I honestly feel like you just talked more in that episode and you didn't like to hear yourself. Could be. Yeah. But uh, when I was listening to that while I was getting ready to put it up was when I I heard us actually announce if you have anything for the, par- for the what do we call it at the time, the uh, paracraft board or the para stuff board. Para whatever. Paraffin board. Um, yeah, I, re- I heard of that and thought, we haven't been saying that in shows. We might need to do that. We should. So, once again... The guys at paronormalguys.com, let, t- send us a line, even on Facebook. Drop us a little note if you know anything paranormally mm-hmm. related coming out. Send us happening. an inappropriate picture, whatever you feel like you need to do so we can <laughs> announce it. You know, I check the mail more than you do. I know. <laughs> Am I, I the screener? I don't. You're, you're my filter. You've deleted things that you didn't want me to read. So, hey. hey. That's right. Mm-hmm. But plug yourself. That's right. If you feel the need. Hey, this is Seth Breedlove. Oh, it is. This is Lyle Blackburn. Well, now, hey, not in the middle of the show, though. Mm-hmm. All you're going to do is get yourself name called, sir. That's right. Mm-hmm. Me or them? You. Me, why? Oh, well, they'll just call us both names. Because you know how people get. <laughs> do I? Uh-huh. <laughs> Any publicity is good publicity, Chad. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Damage control. That's right. All right, sir. So, uh, coming up after the break tonight, Chad. Yes. It Something that 
we we've talked about before, but not ever really done a show on. And for whatever reason, over the past couple of weeks, it's came up a lot, once or twice, just us talking about mm-hmm. stuff. So I thought, hey, what the heck? Let's go ahead and just do a show. Yeah, there's something about this uh, topic that enrages me. Uh, yes, we, uh, we will discuss that we'll one very, that. very in depth because mm-hmm. uh, tonight we're going to talk about the Mandela effect. Hi, hi. Oh, that was different. What do you mean? I say that in every show. I thought you said, what? I don't remember it that way, Chad. You thought it was, yeah, I bet you thought it was something hello, different. Hello, hello. No, Chris. It's I've always, always been said hello, hi, hello. hi. No. No, you're wrong. I disagree. No. Mandela effect. <gasps> dun, dun. Dun. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm talking about the Mandela effect tonight. And uh, now... The reason it's named that, Chad, I mean, probably everybody knows, you know, Nelson Mandela. Uh-huh. And apparently, everybody believed that Nelson Mandela died sometime. <laughs> Way before he actually did. In the 90s? Yeah, the 90s. But uh, he actually died on December 5th of 2013. Mm-hmm. So, but you know... I, that one doesn't register with me too much. Doesn't me either. Me, if I was going to name it after a person... Uh-huh. I would call it the Abe Vigoda effect. Really? Yeah, because for whatever reason, I remember Abe Vigoda dying long time ago. No, long time ago. Mm-mm. And really, uh, that was it was January twenty sixth, twenty sixteen. Yeah, he did a lot of voice work all yeah. the way up until he's kind of like um, what's his name, uh, the guy that does the voice for Granny good whatever in the dc things what's his name the dude that was uh what's your name wrote his boss or whatever i can't think of his name oh right now. yeah i know who you're talking you know about. what i'm talking yeah. about anyway he's still alive mm-hmm. doing voice work yeah yeah but yeah that that's what i would call it is the vagoda effect because i was sure that it was a long time ago that he had passed no a vagoda just hung in there like a hair in a biscuit sir <laughs> it would mm-hmm. if he could because he was, uh, wasn't he uh, Bella Lugosi and Edward? Uh, no, he was not. It was... Oh, um, another Mandela effect. Yeah, no, it was another actor <laughs> that I can't... But you know what, if I didn't get old, I could spew this crap out at you left and right, but I can't That's remember right. anything anymore. But, uh, so moving right along into yeah. it, though, we've got us a list of uh, some of the more popular Mandela effect uh, items. Well, let's hear it. I'm sure at least one will enrage Now, me. some of them, yeah. Some of them, I think, okay, yeah, yeah. I kind of remember it that way. Other ones, I'm like, no, that, whatever. <laughs> and yeah. is it even important? Nah. So, Chad, number one, mm-hmm. Oscar Meyer. Wiener. How do you spell that? M e y e r. M M a y e r. However, the song goes, it's M a y e r. Yeah, but apparently everybody thinks it's M e y e r. Uh, you know what? I disagree because I th- that's somewhere in the song it's M A Y E R. They tell you, you how to spell it. it. My baloney has a first name. It's I put O-S-C-A-R. it in her eye, and then she tried to get me in trouble with the HR guy. What? No. Man, see, baloney I don't remember how it goes. Mandela effect. Second name. It's M A Y E R. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> if you ask me, well, I'll say, I. Like my B-O-L-O-G-N-A. There you go. <laughs> That's the only way you can remember how to spell baloney. Bologna. Bologna. So, Oscar Mayer, Chad. I know. Now, this is. remember how I said some are okay and then some are like, who even cares? Yeah. Well, this next one is over. Who really cares? Okay. There was a very popular 
um, show on I, some channel, like HBO maybe, uh-huh. that had uh, Matthew Broderick's wife and other people. Okay. Do you know the name of that show? No. Well. I bet it was Sex in the City. Well, Chad, you'd be <laughs> wrong because oh. it's Sex and the City. Or is that what you said? No, I said Sex in the City. Right. In, not and. Right. So yeah. everybody says Sex in the City, but it's Sex and the City. Oh. Well, that'd be another one of those that I would think it was, but I don't care. Yeah, and be like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So... Now this one, Chad, this uh, one is, and this one I actually, uh, this one hits me too because I remembered it wrong. Okay. We Are the Champions. Okay. By Queen. Okay. Um, do you, do you remember how the song ends? Um, it changes from We Are the Champions to the slower, you know, whatever it was. It goes, we are the champions, and then it goes, a doom, doom, sh- and it, then it changes to... <clears throat> okay, well, actually, it's We Will Rock You starts, we will. and then it transitions into We Are the Champions. Oh, there you go, okay. But We Are the Champions, uh, apparently everybody, almost everybody in the world thinks that he, uh, at the very end, the last line, Freddie Mercury actually said, of the world. Uh, yeah, I kind of think that's what it is. Too. Yeah, what he is doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't. He just says, we are the champions, and then the song ends. Huh. Yeah. Well, I know the last uh, thing he says in uh, One Vision is fried chicken. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you remember that? Fried chicken. chicken. Yeah. One uh, leg. Yeah, I remember hearing yeah, that. He goes, yeah. one leg, and then it is fried chicken. Whatever. Huh? <laughs> it's from Highlander. Um, But yeah, and that's one I actually thought that he said that, because I, I know... Every time I hear that on the radio, when he, you know, and you're in the car, you're singing along mm-hmm. and everything, I always do that. We are the champions of the world. But he never says it. Maybe the actual, maybe the one you hear on the radio is a radio cut and it's not <clears throat> the end of the regular. No, they're actually, hang on, there's, huh. there's something about that here. Hang on. Um, the song has never ended that way. In fact, uh, there is an earlier verse where he does say of the world, uh-huh. but not in the end of the not song. Not the end of the song, right. okay. That's yeah. why I mentioned a radio cut, because sometimes, you know, right. they'll cut a song. like um, Oh, yeah, definitely. There's radio cuts like that are what's way the, uh What's the police song that they always cut it, usually before it gets to the end? It's um, Don't Stand So Close to Me, right. I think. And then they cut, like, some of the stuff he says at the end. They'll well, cut no, it before don't they, it fades don't they... off cut the beginning of that one down a lot too because it it's has a lot longer beginning than you think yeah and it, men at work there's a couple of their songs that if you listen to the non-radio cuts there's a lot of extra intro stuff right hmm. anyway yep off topic <laughs> not really hmm. Ace hey of spades you know the uh monopoly guy I do know the Monopoly guy. Rich Uncle Pennybags? Sure, I guess. I didn't know his name, but I know the Monopoly guy. Does he or does he not have a monocle, Chad? He does not have a monocle. Very That's Mr. Peanut. good. Very good. Mr. Peanut. Yes, has Mr. A Peanut has a monocle, but uh, not Uncle Pennybags. Yeah. But most people, for some reason, think that he does. Yeah. Well, Uncle Pennybags. And Letus have something in common. What's that? They're both cheap bastards. <laughs> if you're playing the Paranormal Guys drinking game, there is your There's reference your to Letus. Letus reference for the day. <laughs> Duh. Now this one, I know this one's gonna this one's gonna take I mean you by storm. Because uh-huh. I know this is near and dear to your heart, Chad. The tip of Pikachu's tail is not black. Uh okay. I don't know. I don't pay that much attention to Pikachu. <laughs> well, apparently a lot of people think that old Pikachu has a little black stripey thing on the end of his tail. It's just a lightning bolt looking Yeah, it's thing, like a it? lightning bolt thing. Uh, Pika he Pika. Says he sneezes electricity. And he farts, Pika and he chew. farts thunder. He's a very formidable Pokemon. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, so there's that one. Hmm. <laughs> Pika Pika. Then, uh, this one, now this one gets me, because it's one of the most popular examples that people throw out of the uh, Mandela effect. Uh-huh. But, and it, it's around the time of when I would be a kid and remember all this and stuff, but it's one of those I don't really have a memory of which way it goes, and it's the whole debate of whether it's Berenstein or Berenstain bears. 
Uh, you know what? I've seen where people have debated, debated that, and I don't have a memory of it to now, know the spelling. And to see, the thing is on that is I think... I remember it, it being said Berenstain Bears. See, I remember Berenstain. See, I remember Berenstain. But how it was said. Yeah. I don't have a foggy clue as to remembering how it was spelled. I think it depends on what person was yeah. saying it, because it always sounded like stain, like on your shirt. Right. People would say it when I heard it. But the, now, the thing on that one is, though, on another place I was looking at this, uh-huh. it is actually Berenstain. So it's S-T-E-I-N. Uh-huh. Wait, no, it's actually Berenstain. Baron. <laughs> Take two. Um, it's actually Baron Stain, so S T A I N at the end. Are you sure it's not Barnstein? Barnstein Boz. Mm-hmm. Roll in the hay. <laughs> roll, 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 roll in the hay. Roll in the hay. Mm-hmm. What great knockers. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's actually Baron Stain. But uh, one of the other things I was looking at actually had a uh, clip it from a, uh, I think it was a TV guide. Yeah. When one of the specials was on, and they, even in the TV guide, had it Baron Steen with it S T E I N at the end. Hmm. So I think it's one of those, it flittered a lot. <laughs> Interdimensional issues. Right. And like says on some old VHS tapes you find in the cartoon, it's Baron Steen with an E. Weird. I just always seem to remember when people would say it, it sounded like they were saying Baron Stain. Stain. Right. Yeah, so, I don't know. How but much does that matter to me? Not a lot. Very because little. Because they, I always, when I was a kid, I always didn't really like the Baron Stain Bears. They were okay. It was like, eh. eh. I don't feel like they were hardcore enough. No. No. There were no explosions and Mm-mm. robots. No, like they were bears, but there was never a single mauling no. in one of the books. They weren't like hair bears. They weren't hanging around with BJ. They weren't in a pickup or a big semi truck. They weren't, um, let's see, what else were they been doing around that time period? You weren't hanging around like a guy in a flannel shirt in the mountains. That's right. Yep. Grizzly Berenstain Adams. <laughs> oh. Anyway. And, uh, Moving right along, and but keeping with the whole uh, kids bookie animated stuff. Uh huh. Curious George never had a tail, Chad. No. Which I that one I was like, yeah, he, who, everybody knows that. No, I remember he didn't have a tail. Yeah. I had the little Curious George that caused cancer. Oh, the one that yeah, uh, the one that called. had the gold lettering on his chest yeah, that had, had uh, too much lead in it. Yeah, yeah. I, I still got him somewhere. I've my got cancer, George. I've got one about a hundred feet away from us. In oh the other God! Room. No wonder I've been having so many problems. <laughs> my curious George. Your curious George is giving me the cancers. What's the half life on lead? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's probably about the same half life you would have on the power cell on a proton pack. Five thousand years. Okay, Isn't that about right. Sure. I'm just guessing. I don't, I don't know. know. I probably pulled that from some Mandela effect dialogue that I don't remember, it's right? It's early like five million years or something. Uh, I think so. Hey, Chad. Yeah. You uh, you a big fan of waffle fries? I'm not going to say they're bad. Where do you get those? Waffle fries? Uh-huh. Like a roadside cafe on the way to... Huh? If you were going to pick you up an order of waffle fries, what restaurant would you go to, Chad? Chick Fil A. There you go. Do you, okay. How do you spell chick? C H I C. No, or, it's C H I C K. Chad, is it? Yeah, it's got the K in it. Huh? Never. But oh, it, you know what? I bet those damn cows that have made me. That's right. Because they spell cow, it. cows can't spell. They can't spell C H I K. Yeah. Uh-huh. But apparently, yeah, there's a, a large amount of people that think it is C H I C or C H I K. Hmm. If it was C H I C though, wouldn't it be Chick Fil A? Chic. Chic filet. Oh, we're going to get the waffle fries at the chic filet. I want to tell you, darling, if you want the most luxurious meal you have ever had, you will go to chic filet. It's very chic. It is good. The sauces are made by two young men in the back. They never ship in ingredients, but they have all kinds of the sauce. <laughs> so there's that one. Some young guy. Now, we're we're getting a two in a row here, Chad. Uh-huh. That I know you and I, we we may have memories of this that lesser fans okay. may not. Uh-huh. So, uh, you know to all those people in the world that try to quote movies all the time, and they've seen it once or twice and think they know what's going on. Great Scott! <laughs> well. <laughs> no, who are these people? Us aside. No. <laughs> um, so, uh, one of the, probably the best movie... 
ever made known to man. Is this an Empire Strikes Back? Empire Strikes Back. And everybody goes around going, Luke, I am your father. Yeah, It's like, yeah. I've always known this Watch it, buddy. Vader never said that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't threaten anybody to watch it, buddy, but I I knew it was bullshit. You should. You should. Anybody that says, Luke, I'm your father, you need to threaten them. (sighs) Well, I know it's wrong. Be like, look, dude, he didn't say that. He said, no, I am your father. Uh Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. Yeah, he did. He ran off and joined the circus. The Imperial <laughs> Circus. He killed younglings. <laughs> he did. He was drinking them left like and right. Oh, pack. <laughs> those are younglings. I'm sorry. <laughs> They've made their way into Kentucky. They're everywhere. So yeah, Vader doesn't say, Luke, I'm your father. Mm-hmm. It's no, I am your father. Because Luke, you know, when he's hanging there, gets all whiny and goes, he told me you killed him. <laughs> I never got one single support check. No, I'm your father. Blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. He left. Yeah. And uh, the other Star wars related one. Duh. And if you had some of the better action figures, you'd know this. Are you talking about newer stuff? Because none of the old vintage stuff. No, the old stuff, stuff they didn't care. Yeah. They they weren't going to take the time and effort to make two different colors on a figure. Yep. C-3PO. Uh-huh. Goldenrod. He has a silver leg. <laughs> yeah. Well, silver... Lower leg. But now if you're watching the first time you ever saw Star Wars on a crappy VHS tape. True, you, you couldn't tell it. a difference. Yeah. But yeah, so C-3PO is mostly gold, but not that one he leg. one janky leg that yeah. got shot in one time in the hood. So I wonder why, why would they have done that? Because he was supposed to be like, you know, old and cobbled together i guess i don't know because well, there were because if you notice there's other droids that have the same body parts as him yeah they just yeah. threw well one's got a bug head and well because if you think about it so anakin made him yeah copied after a protocol droid uh-huh. so he had the body thing but anakin didn't have the right you know whatever you want to call it skin. well he ran around naked for yeah so then when he went with uh bail and Everybody back to Coruscant, to what Coruscant, not Coruscant. I don't know, you're talking about movies, I don't care the, about. The one that they blew up. Prequels. No, the one they blew up, Alderaan. Alderaan. You would think that they, you know, would have jazzed him up and... Spray painted him? Gave him bit. matching on his Well, skin. I mean, they got cleaned up every time he turned around. Yeah. But hell, he's got a red arm and, you know... Yeah, that's one true. One, so whatever. Right. And you have to find some... Obscure comic book or something to find out the story as to why he's got that right. that Chinese right. communist arm. arm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Winter Soldier C three PO. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, see, and C three PO goes the opposite way of of R two D two. What do you mean? Well, R2-D2 well, no, I guess if you other... go in other in the if you go in original Same. trilogy and prequel, then R two D two gets old and forgets he has things like C three PO. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me that R two D two was only into other uh, mech droids, so he was into same mech marriages. No, uh, uh, no, but you know, where R two D two has <laughs> has jets and can fly and everything, and then he forgets he can do that. No, that happened. No Mandela effect. Yeah, that's you know George Lucas thought he had put that stuff in those. In the original trilogy films, <laughs> Did he? but uh, he, he, was he wrong. remembered it wrong. Yeah, he, and just, he didn't go back to check. Yeah, because they told him they're like, "Well, George, you know, he's he's never he's never used any why of this you, stuff why before." Are you giving him and these... you know what George Lucas told him? He said, "The hell you say? Why are you giving R two these funky jets that pop out of his the sides of his legs like freaking Lex Luthor in, in Super Friends?" No kidding, he's got that compressed gas lighter and. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he keep all that stuff? I don't know. How's he refill it? A lot of room inside of a R2 unit. You no know, kidding for a rusty garbage can. You got little uh, Warwick Davis in there pushing all this. Or no, Kenny Baker, sorry. <laughs> Kenny Baker shoving all this stuff out. <laughs> little, poor little dead Kenny Baker wadded up inside there. Oh. oh. Wow, we need to go move on. <laughs> oh, okay. We got we nerded out there for a bit. No, I did You just yes, helped you did. push me. Hey, Chad, what's the uh, beginning line of the theme song for Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. No. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Oh. Yo. (laughs) (laughs) Which, you know, could go with another one of those uh, sound quality wasn't quite as good. What is the name of the, the cat that goes meow meow in between everything? It sounds like your kid. 
Sounds like Amelia. Meow, meow. On Mr. Rogers? Yeah. Pfft. I don't you know. know. What King, is it? Miss... King. Well, there was King Watts' his name, but then there was the cat that was meow meow na, 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 meow meow. Oh yeah, and it had the it only stopped. Like it. it had that real high soft voice. Yeah. Hold on. Where's I don't know. Look real Ask quick. Siri. Find the name. What? I just need to know the name real All fast. All right, hang on. Because I want to I want to quote something and I find very. All funny. right, Pongites. Uh, mill. You know, mill about yourselves for a minute. Yeah, it'll be fine. Chris will edit this. Mr. Don't worry. Rogers. Kitty. Cat. Yeah, okay. Oh my God! I didn't know you could bend that way. No, wait. Uh, uh, Daniel Tiger. That's no. That's no. the new show. Hang on. No. What was Mister Rogers' Neighborhood called? Who did voices on Mister Roger? What is King Friday's wife's name? Cat. Henrietta book. Pussycat. Henrietta Pussycat. Okay. Well, I was trying to remember that because there's a new episode, or newer episode of the Venture Brothers. Oh no. In which uh, St. Cloud, it's Billy Quizboy's uh, arch nemesis, you know, he gets all these props Uh from uh, various shows. Right. And while he has uh, Billy Quizboy and White, his albino friend, are there waiting, uh, St. Cloud's taking a shower, and he has his albino that he claims he owns, (laughs) and he says he's, you know, he's Asian albino, so he's much more collectible. He has him come in. And he brings him that cat puppet from Mr. Rogers. Nice. And Billy Quizboy's flipping out. He's like, what are you doing? You know, and he's, he uses him as a, he uses the cat puppet as like a scrub in the shower. Okay. And he's, he leads forward to it. He's like, oh, yes, it is the original. And he's like, oh, what's that? You want to wash me down there, meow, meow? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me giggle every time I see it. Okay. Meow, meow. Yes, I guess. <laughs> I find it funny. Sure. Whatever. Hey, whatever floats your boat, sir. Uh, okay. I'm sorry I didn't find it as funny as you. That's because you don't watch the new episodes of Your Brothers. Yeah, I don't have time to do anything. You can make time, sir. I mean, I have a podcast that goes up once a week that uh, I actually have to do some work on. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I have to drive here. <laughs> Takes time and gas money, sir. Trying to get a <clears throat> kick butt. Goblin sculpture done for Duh, huh. the guys in Somerset. Mm-hmm. Working hard. Taking care of business. Hey, Chad. Yeah. Here's another one that I don't get. Because this would involve a painting changing itself. Okay. Uh, people claim that uh, the Mona Lisa is smiling now, but used to not smile. I mean, she's always had that weird... Slight. Slight. Half... Ish. That smirk, like yeah. she's got just a little something happening below the waist that you don't know about, like that, she's pooping or I know something or... you don't know. Thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's that one. We'll move on. <laughs> no, okay. You know, Chad, one of my favorite candy bars is a Kit Kat. Oh yeah. Do you know how you spell that? K I T K A T. That it? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're good because a lot of people think it has a dash in it. <laughs> well, guess what? I'm fat. <laughs> you know, and I've looked at enough bars. candy bar labels. <clears throat> well, I mean, personally, I wouldn't know one way or the other because I don't really. I know what the package looks like. I don't go, oh, let me see how it's spelled. No, nah, it's red and just K I T K A T all shoved together. Right. I don't know if there was any iterations in the past that have changed on that, but yeah. So uh, this next one, I know you can talk on at great length on this one. Uh huh. People remember a genie movie in the 90s, but no. not from Shaq, from Sinbad. I, I know people have talked about this. I, I knew that there was never one that I remember. But uh, <laughs> Now, you, you want to know some of the theories as to why people might remember that? Because it was a Sinbad movie? I don't know. Go ahead. You know, because Sinbad like, wore a lot of like hammer pants. Well, I mean, he still dresses like a genie, as far as I So, maybe the way he, he, he looks, or the way he dressed, he thought he was a genie and he hey, made a movie. I don't know. Hmm. And apparently, somewhere along the line, he was a genie in an episode of, what was that one he was on occasionally? Um, an American, American Dad. No. no. Um, He's a ghost in that. Can't remember it now. I think. Yeah. All about all about that or about that or 
I don't know what's the na- what, I can't think of what's the name. All they that claim was the, the name of the show. What's the name of the movie they claim he was in as a genie? Is it like like Shazam? Kazam? Kazam? Or was that the one that Shaq was in? I thought Shaq was Shazam. Or no, not Shazam. Hang on, let me see. Uh, um, Kazam was Shaq. Kazam. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I think it would have been Shaq Zam. Wow. Or the general car insurance. I don't know, but anyway, yeah. Uh, Sinbad never did a genie movie. Yeah, I. I knew that and then somebody asked me about it one day I'm like yeah and I thought no I, I know that that didn't happen because I knew what they were talking about with Shaquille O'Neal and right some reason they said send bad and it just plugged in weird but I, I knew better yeah yeah okay yeah let's see let's uh zip through a couple of these and get to the one that we actually like the one that bothers us me up the most night. yeah yeah well there's one more on this list that kind of bugs me but uh okay so Forrest Gump never said life is like a box of chocolates. Life is a box of chocolates? He said life was like a box of chocolates. Huh. Yeah. I could see that, but... Mama always said life was like a box of chocolates. Yeah. Okay. I think people stuck that on bumper stickers or something. Yeah. Put it different. Made you think that. But who cares? It's Forrest Gump. Hannibal Lecter never says, hello, Clarice. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I don't remember it, but sure. He's When he first meets Clarice, Agent he says, Starling. good morning. Are the lambs sleeping, Clarice? Fly away. Fly back home, little starling. Fly, fly, fly. You know, I heard an interesting thing on the radio the other day that uh, they were talking about uh, talking uh, about uh, the movie Silence of the Lambs and Anthony Hopkins. Uh huh. One of those little quirks that he decided to do all on his own that he thought would make Hannibal Lecter more creepy. Can't. Was he decided anytime his character was on camera, he would never blink. Yeah, I can see that. So, yeah. Little, the guy that played Bobby in the Ernest movies is the same way. Little he tidbit. never blinks. So, Chad. Yeah. I know you're one of your, probably your second favorite vampire movie. Duh. Besides Twilight. Yeah. Um, little Tom Cruise action. Little interview with on. vampire. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, interview with the vampire. Uh huh. Not interview with a vampire. Oh, the vampire. Yeah, it's the Sorry. vampire. I forgot. Last time I read an Anne Rice book, I guess I didn't lock it <laughs> didn't title keep down. Keep that right? down. No. All right. So there's that one. Mm. Um, the evil queen in Snow White never says "mirror, mirror" on the wall. No, it's magic mirror. Magic mirror. But uh-huh. if you go back and read the original uh, fairy tale. She does say mirror, mirror on the that wall. That was before the King James version of Snow White. Exactly. Yeah. But then uh, Disney changed it to Magic Mirror on Magic the wall. Magic Mirror on the wall. Did you know there's a, uh, there was a, they closed it a few years ago, but there was a ride at the Japanese uh, Disney World or oh, Disneyland God. or whatever. Sure. That the mirror is like your host guide with a live action person that takes you through it. Uh huh. And the big, like, <laughs> devil Satan monster at the end is the one from Black Cauldron. The Beast. That's right. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. six, six, six. Anyway, it's it's that big creature from, I didn't know that existed, but it looked like it was pretty cool. It's the yeah. dungeon underneath of the, uh, you know, okay. Cinderella yeah, castle yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Huh. Used to be a big tour thing. They'd take you through that. Who knew? Who knew? All right. So we've got one more kind of who cares. <clears throat> then we got the one on the list that kind of bugs me. Okay. And then we're going to discuss the most horrifying thing that'll keep you up for nights. Forever. Is it a snoring sound? <laughs> no. No. Oh. <laughs> um, Fruit Loops, Chad. Uh-huh. How do you spell that? F-R-O-O-T-L-O-O-P-S? No. F-R-U-I-T? No, you're right. It is oh. It is F-R-O-O. Fruit. Yeah. Yeah, fruit. But, you know, for some reason, a lot of people think it's F-R-U-I-T. It's a fruit. Loops, it's which like I a... mean, marketing aside, I mean, how are you going to use pictures of the cereal uh-huh. to spell the name if you use UI? Uh-huh. I mean, yeah. come on, people. So now, Chad, this one, this one hits home. Yeah, because I remember this, and I swear there's a communist uh, agenda on this one. I agree. Certain brand of peanut butter, uh-huh. named Jif. J I F. J I F. Uh-huh. I I swear to God, I remember there being Jiffy peanut butter. I remember there being a Jiffy peanut butter There's as well. There has never been a Jiffy peanut butter. <laughs> really? Yes. 
Because I always thought they, it was it, weird. It, it seemed it, like there was Jif and Jiffy, and yeah, there were two. It, it never existed. It, Jif didn't change its name from Jiffy. It just, there's not been a Jiffy, but in this parallel universe that we've all somehow landed in. Yeah, I would swear as a fat kid from the pre-peanut allergy fear era that there was a Jif and Jiffy peanut butter. Exactly. Yeah. No Jiffy. Huh. Just Jif. Well, huh. Yeah. Now, Donald Duck orange juice still existed, right? Yes. Thank God. I guess. Donald Duck it orange didn't juice. Mention Does that, it exist now? In Popeye spinach? In those, in those cool cans. little, those little those big really cans. thick metal cans that you couldn't yeah. bend. Yeah. Yeah, the ones that you could like throw at somebody if yeah. you were playing Donkey Kong. That were like in the two, house, two ounces. Which I, I did that as a child. Threw Donald Duck orange juice at people? I rolled it at them like Donkey Kong. Oh. <laughs> you know. And then I'd actually say it like they used to do in that 1982 cartoon where, um, Peter Cullen mm -hmm. is the voice of Mario, Mario Prime. And he'd go, and Donkey Kong would go, Donkey Kong! And he would roll stuff at Peter <laughs> Cullen as Mario. Hey. <laughs> Just so you know. Wow. Uh-huh. Oh, good, good to know. That's okay. right. Donkey Kong! So, that brings us to our, our closing one, Chad. Let's do it. And uh, you, you brought this one up few weeks back to me, uh -huh. and you asked me where this thing we're going to talk about is located. I told you, and you told me no. Okay. And it floored me. So be so before we tell people, let's just throw the question out there. Ask them, where do they remember? Yeah, so right yeah. now, stop everything you're doing uh -huh. and concentrate. If you're, if you're in the bathroom right now, pinch it off. That's right, just hang focus. on for a sec here. Focus, because I'm sure you probably listen to this to help you go to the bathroom. It might. Yeah. Or it might constipate. You might have the opposite reaction. Right. It's like that. Whatever. Well, that song "Happy" that Pharrell did. Happy. It always constipated me when I was Happy. trying to go to the bathroom at work. Anyway, yeah. Let's go. Let's take it back to the '80s, Chad. Let's do it. And a little little show with a Mr. David Hasselhoff. Baywatch. Night Rider. Oh. So, you if you've seen Night Rider, you uh -huh. know Michael Knight. You know Kit. Yep. The Night Industries 2000. Mm -hmm. He had a little screen whenever he talked to Michael Knight that would kind of have the little, you know, the equalizer -y little thing that moved. And but not flash. at first. It was just a flashing solid red right. square. Yeah. So, where in the car was that little screen flashy light thing when Kit would talk? And I can tell you, if you do watch the episodes now when he's talking to Kit, he's looking at the middle of the dash. Every time. But he was keeping his eyes on the road. Every... Well, Kit was driving. It don't matter. He had that auto <laughs> collision stuff you can get on the Cadillacs now right. or whatever. But every time when he was talking, hey, buddy, in special episode, blah, blah, blah. Look at that chick. And he's talking to the middle of the car. Yeah. And, you know, Kit's like, well, Michael, I really don't care, you know, and all whatever. But this totally made me upset. Cause yeah, because when you told me, I, I mean, I remember with that... Beyond a shadow of a doubt, that little screen was sitting right there in front of the gear shift. Yep, and I remember in episodes where the shifter would, you know, move on its own. And I remember <laughs> seeing that, that yeah, that box with those <laughs> buttons or turbo boost and oil and blood pressure and all that right there. Right. In the middle. Right. But turns out, we're not right. We're completely wrong. Yeah. How, how do you feel about that out there? Does that just destroy your whole day if you're... You know, not 20 years old. I mean, it did me. I thought, what? What? No, you're wrong, Chad. You're, it was right there by the gear shift. <laughs> Turns out it's in the middle of the dash above the steering wheel. Ugh. Not the middle of the entire dash, but just that section. I still think above that the steering there's some wheel. conspiracy that went back uh, and parallel, changed yeah, all the parallel videos. Universe. Yeah. What, what, what changed our... What event caused us to go to a parallel universe that, you know, that now there's... Kit's voice box is in the wrong spot, and there's no Jiffy peanut butter. Red M and M die. Oh, uh, I think it happened. If you eat enough of it, it opens up a wormhole. It causes and... your vibration on your body, your vibrational uh, frequency to change, and then everything around you just starts to slightly alter itself. Well, we need to somebody get mm -hmm. Thanos in here and make him change stuff back. Yeah, I want Jiffy. I I swear I remember Jiffy peanut butter. I do too. Maybe. On that list, that was the most disturbing one to me because the rest were like, okay, whatever. Yeah, mm. mirror, mirror on the wall. Whatever. But yeah. no, I, was, I know there was a Jiffy peanut butter. I remember that. 
but you know, kit, peanut butter, somewhere else, yep. all that exists. I know. They only had this uh, last. Was it the last season of X Files? The last last season that they say they're not going to make any more. <laughs> they had right. the episode on the Mandela effect, and uh-huh. she's trying to find some sort of orange whip thing. Orange whip. Yeah. Orange, orange whip. 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 Yeah. So sometimes little things like that bother me. Yeah. When the space shuttle blew up. Yeah, you know, that one wasn't on that list. Really? Yeah. The 83 or 86 or 87, whatever it was. Which so I don't, I I don't remember what exact year it was, but I'll, I remember I was old enough that I was in elementary school and that my grandfather picked me up that day from school for whatever reason. And when I got the, the his truck, he said, yeah, that spaceship blew up today. Yeah, well, I can tell you for sure, I, I don't remember... It being 83, it was never 83, it was later because that would make it... Uh, Pre-Transformers. Well, it'd be pre-Transformers and it would be like shortly after He-Man came out era, which that, that didn't happen because I was older right? when the uh, space shuttle went kablooey because hmm. of those fuel tank rings. The O-rings. Yeah, the O-rings. That happens yeah. to you occasionally, doesn't it? You get a faulty O-ring. You get a and... faulty O-ring and there's an explosion. Yeah. It happens. Too, Mirror. S- too soon. Miralax. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be up for a while tonight again thinking about that. Probably should be. You know what else you should be thinking about? What, Chad? Uh, where else you can find nifty things about <laughs> the Mandela effect and, I don't know, ghosts. Where would you go for that man. kind of thing? I don't know. Carrie's not here. You don't know where you'd go? Uh-uh. Where would you go, Chris? Well, I am appalled by your ignorance, sir. Really? Well, you say that every show. <laughs> Do I? Mandela Effect. <laughs> Cha-cha-cha-cha. Yeah. Hey, but I would go to paronormalguys.com, Chad. Really? Yes. Wow. That's our website that you can go for all kinds of things like uh, listen to the show, see some pictures, send us an email. Um, there's some links to some of our buds on there. Uh-huh. Buds. Buds. That's right. Pals and buds and stuff. Mm-hmm. And there's still, hey, there's still that little link on there that says donate. Oh, yeah. 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 Donate. Donate. Uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, go there. Check it out. Uh, another place you can find us now that uh, is almost currently updated still. <laughs> the YouTube? Yeah, YouTube channel. Uh. It's Hey, it's only like... A show and a half behind. Is it? Yeah. I thought we were, you were like three behind now. Well, when this show comes out, There's if like I haven't, it'll be New three. show, BS, and like the last, you haven't put the other episode on there. You act like all I do is sit around <laughs> and have time to do things. Oh. <laughs> but uh, go to our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash C. Is it slash C or Just slash look S? Paranormal Guys. Yeah, go to YouTube, YouTube and type in Paranormal Guys. P-A-R-O-N-O-R-M-A-L. Because G-Y-S. YouTube gave us a crazy yeah long just, just use what works. It's like YouTube.com. Matter of fact, if you Google pair paro normal guys paranormal podcast, yeah, just <laughs> just paro normal guys will bring us up on pretty much anything now on Google search. Right, like it should have when we started, but it didn't. Yeah, the two things that you can find us almost anywhere are paro normal guys or Pong podcast. Yeah, and there's only one thing where it's not us and it's a couple guys that tried to use paranormal guys for like one video and I don't even know where they are now. Yeah, so. There was one time they tried. Yeah, so. Yeah. Once. That's right. <laughs> that was the last time. <laughs> so yeah, um, check out the YouTube channel and subscribe there. We'd appreciate that. Uh-huh. Go to our Instagram and uh, sub- subscribe or follow whatever it is you do on Instagram. Uh-huh. And that's paranormal guys or Pong Podcast. Either one will find you there. Hey, Chris, who's the most handsome man in the world? You? No, you're a fucking liar. It's Ryan Reynolds. Okay, I have to get that. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what uh, that was, but uh, what the probably a, the best way to follow stuff we do and little tidbits and whatnot is go to our uh, Facebook page. Uh-huh. Facebook.com slash pair. Oh, normal guys. Yeah. Chad likes to update that with little... Tidbits. I do. I just shared a, a clip from SNL about a uh, paranormal ghost encounter that's quite entertaining. So there you go. Uh-huh. And uh, while you're there, go on over to Mr. William Blanchard's Facebook page. 
He's the gentleman that supplies all the music for the Paro Normal Guys Paranormal Podcast. Musical genius. And you can find him at Facebook.com slash William Blanchard Soundtrack. Uh huh. There you go, Chad. Yeah, that everything? I think. Let me throw uh, two more things in there. Okay, go for it. Okay. Um, if you do like collectibles and toys that are amazing. 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 Go to Facebook and look up Tyrant Toys and Collectibles. A friend of mine, Jason, hey. runs that place. Lots of horror and monster collectibles and transformers and everything your heart desires. So I'd like to give a shout out for everybody to check that out. If you do like weird and fun stuff, contact Jason. He's in a lot of shows. He'll hook you up. The other thing is, happy birthday, Katrina. This is Seth Breedlove. By the time she hears this, it'll well pass and gone past. It and, won't matter. But, you know, happy birthday anyway. And that's um, all I got to say. Wow. Twoo wow. Twoo wow. Is what brings us together. That's right. So, yeah, happy birthday, Katrina. Mm-hmm. Don't go smashing any towns up any more. Nope. Don't uh, rock anyone like a hurricane. Uh huh. Have a paranormal week. <laughs>